The advanced towed artillery gun system is a 155mm-52 caliber indigenous weapon system developed by DRDO's art with industry partners namely Bayrot Forge Limited and Tot Powers. Parallel development is there to cut delays. Bayrot Forge has developed and provided diverse inputs in design, manufacture and development while Tot Powers has provided the automotive system, understructure assembly automation, breach system recoil system and fixed firing stand. ATAGS has excellent accuracy, consistency, mobility, reliability and automation and is capable of achieving 48 plus km range. The Army, based on Cargill and other experiences, listed out the tactical field requirements they had from a howitzer. ATAGS was developed from scratch to meet the field requirements. The secret of the ATAGS for world beating longer range is its larger chamber of 25 liters. The system is configured with all electric drive technology for the first time in the world that will ensure maintenance free and reliable operation over longer periods of time. The ATAGS is the world's only gun with a six round automated magazine that fires a six round burst in just 30 seconds, rate of firing is 30 rounds within 16 minutes. After the gun successfully completes development and firing trials, the Army is likely to procure at least 2,000 ATAGs. Meanwhile Kalyani Group had announced Barat 155mm-39 Ultra Light Long Range Howitzer weighing 4,500 kg will be developed using lightweight expensive materials like titanium and aluminium alloys and will have performance similar to M777 howitzers. Cannon-launched guided missile can be fired from both Arjun MBT as well as can be lugged around by soldiers while NAG on other hand is incompatible with the Arjun tank, and is much too heavy to function as a man-portable anti-tank system. Instrumented development flight tests were conducted from tripod launcher, dynamic performance of propulsion system was satisfactory. Ballistic range 6 km was achieved, mid-course guidance capability has been successfully tested. Main high explosive anti tank warhead tested against trolled homogeneous armor and a consistent penetration of 750 mm were achieved. A gimbaled laser seeker with a seeking range of tilde 2 km has been developed and flight tested. The DRDO SAMO is an infantry portable variant of the DRDO CLGM. The missile operates via semi active laser homing cyclos guidance wherein the operator of the launch post or third party paints the target with a laser designator and the missile seeker homes in onto the painted target. There is an agreement between India and US that calls for the joint development and production of the next generation BOM that will use thermobaric head and tandem shaped charge warheads optimized for high altitude warfare and anti-armor engagements. In reality, the MPTM has been under development since 2009 by the DRDL with them technologies being responsible for product engineering development. Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon is a long-range, precision-guided air-to-surface weapon weighs around 125 to 150 kg with range of 120 km, intended for Jaguar, Su-30 MKI and will be extended to Rafale. The smart bomb is indeed the first 100% made in India weapon. Unguided test launches of the saw from a Jaguar were first conducted at Pokhran in May 2015 to validate the weapon's release, pylon ejection mechanisms, while the first powered test flight was conducted on December 23, 2016. India became first country to successfully tested such weapon. US is the only other country in the process of developing these kind of precision guided glide bombs, but has failed to successfully test the same. In addition, its high explosive warhead with deep penetration capabilities can easily destroy even the steel reinforced concrete runways and make it impossible for the enemy aircraft to even take off while being controlled from the cockpit. Both the IF and N have a stated requirement for 500 saws. DRDO designed QR SAM missile uses solid fuel propellant and can engage multiple targets within a range from 3 km to 30 km in azimuth and 30 m to 6 km in altitude. 
the missile can engage aircraft at 500 meters per second at 20 kilometers and 300 meters per second at 30 kilometers, along with helicopters and doves. The missile also has terminal guidance using an RF seeker. The system has ASA radar with X-band quad transmit receiver modules, QTMs, two-way data link, TWDL, and IFF. The battery surveillance radar, BSR, has a range up to 120 kilometers and the multifunction fire control radar, BMFR, has a tracking range of up to 80 kilometers. High Mobility Vehicle also has NBC system installed which ensures reliable protection of the crew and internal equipment against mass destruction weapons. The QRSAM uses a surface-launched version of the Astra 1 Bram and it will use a Q-band seeker developed by the DRDO's RCI and produced by Vim Technologies. The target detection and engagement radars are being developed by the DRDO's LRD laboratory, while overall systems integration is the responsibility of Bell. Indian Navy also has requirements for large quantity of Vialcrosum as a replacement for Barak-1. An addition of cruise missile defense system and QR SIMs will certainly complicate Pakistan equation of using tactical nuclear weapons within its own territory the risk of a high casualty of its own civilians and India launching full-scale nuclear retaliation will play high if India is able to effectively counter Nasser. The Nurpay is a 1,000-kilometer class subsonic LACM designed to fly at subsonic speeds to neutralize targets of interest deep inside the adversary's territory. This project was conceived back in 2003 as a ground-launched cruise missile GLCM, and air-launched cruise missile ALCM, for the Indian Air Force and as a warship-launched slash submarine-launched cruise missile SLCM, for the Indian Navy. The missile can travel at different altitudes, it is said to have designed to fly as low as 10 meters to avoid detection. During tests it has been flown at the altitude of 4,800 meters and gradually bringing down to 20 meters. The missile maintained an accuracy better than 10 meters throughout its path and covered a distance of more than 1,000 kilometers. It has an inertial guidance system and it can carry 24 different types of warheads including a nuclear one. One unique feature if thus missile, what I like is it's said to be capable of loitering. That means it can go round about the target maneuver like an aircraft and re-engage and can pick out a target. This cost-effective weapon delivery platform has been granted a 16-month development extension despite failing in tests for the fourth time. At the peak of the 1999 Kargil conflict a new secret weapon entered action for the very first time, the Pinnacle multi-barreled rocket launcher. MBRL, became the first Indian prototype weapon to be used in actual combat. This has never been revealed until now nor the fact that Pakistani mortar fire wounded a young DRDO scientist who was operating the Pinaga. Like a soldier, he continued firing until that operation was over. Pinaka are free flight rockets that follow a ballistic path while each guided Pinaka rocket has an onboard computer calculating its flight trajectory and location using the US GPS, the Russian GLONASS or the Indian Gagan, whichever is most convenient. When the rocket deviates from its desired trajectory, aerodynamic converts on the rocket body are manipulated to bring it back on track. In the two tests conducted so far, the guided pinnacle has struck targets over 60 kilometers away with an accuracy of 25 meters. The pinnacle rocket delivers 100 kilograms of high explosive onto the target. Each Pinnacle launcher has 12 rockets in its tubes, which can all be fired within 44 seconds. Induction of 22 Pinnacle Mark I regiments into the Army at a cost of Rs 61,000 crore. Of these, two are already in service, two more contracted, and another 10 cleared by the Cabinet Committee on Security. DRDO also has taken up development of Pinnacle 2 which will have a range of 90 to 120 km and will have the ability to carry 250 kg high explosive to its targets. Troop. Missile launched. Yeah. Akash can fly at supersonic speeds ranging from Mach 2.8 to 3.5 
and can engage aerial targets up to a range of approximately 25 km and at altitudes up to 18 km. The SEM can carry a high explosive, pre fragmented nuclear warhead of 60 kg. The Rajendra radar can detect 100 targets and track 64 of them, while simultaneously engaging 8 of them at the same time. The Okash is powered by Ranjet rocket propulsion system which renders thrust for the missile to intercept the target at supersonic speed without any retardation. The fully automated Akash MK-1 has an 88% kill probability within a specified kill zone and has even intercepted a target with a 0.02 square meter radar cross-section. The Okash system protects a moving procession of vehicles using an electronic counter-countermeasures ECCM, system. Akash was also tested in a ballistic missile role and offers air defense missile coverage of 2,000 square kilometers. In production, 8 Squadron for Air Force, 2 Regiments for Army, 8 Squadron order pending on price negotiation with Bell. Akash and G in development, active seekers, 50 km range with 10 targets engage. MK-1S program in development, technology insertion for Akash MK-1 program with active seekers. Namaka is a modified BMP-2 ICV produced at Sarat in India. The carrier weights 14.5 tons in full combat load and is capable of moving 7 km per hour in water. DRDO re-engineered the Namaka 1 by incorporating a commander's panoramic target acquisition, lock-on sensor slash undaunted and developed the Namaka 2. Namaka 2 destined for equipping the recce and support battalions of the Indian Army's mechanized infantry formations, especially when undertaking river crossing operations can carry 12 NAG ATGMs, with six of the men ready to fire mode out to a distance of 4 km. The ATGM has a flight speed of 230 meters per second, is armed with a 8 kg tandem-shaped charge warhead, has a rocket motor using nitrogen-based smokeless extruded double base sustainer propellant, has a single shot hit probability of 0.77 and a SEP of 0.9 meters, and has a 10-year maintenance-free shelf life. On paper, the Indian Army remains committed to the procurement of 443 Barat Dynamics Limited built third-generation NAG fire and forget ATGMs along with 13 OFB Medak built Namaka 2 tracked ATGM launchers. Presently under development is the helicopter-launched version of the NAG, known as Helena, can reach up to 7 km. The Helena, using the Ryudrastra canister in case twin launcher system, will arm both the Ryuta helicopter gunships as well as the LCH attack helicopters of both the IA and IF. Under development is a DRDO developed active fire and forget, adverse weather millimeter wave, MMW, radar sensor for a 15 km range version of the Helena. However, the R&D cycle of this ATGM is unlikely to be completed by 2019 at the very latest, and consequently, the IA's initial 60 HAL developed Ryuta helicopter gunships will in all probability be armed with up to 960 Helenas equipped with lower sensors. Varunastra, a versatile naval weapon which can be fired from anti-submarine warfare, ASW. Ships is capable of targeting quiet and stealthy submarines both in deep and littoral waters even in intense countermeasure atmosphere. Variant of Arunastra HWT-4 operation from submarine is dubbed Takshk which are wire-guided torpedoes which require constant communication between the torpedo and the firing ship. If the wire does breaks, Takshk becomes an autonomous torpedo like its ship launched variant and can travel up to a distance of 40 km for taking out submarines and can operate up to a depth of 400 meters. Takshk HWT nearly weighing a ton each contains 250 kg of explosives can travel at a speed of 40 knots an hour, going in circles and bobbing up and down to attack targets. Takshk warhead has a proximity fuse with the blast occurring about 8 meters from the target. Ring laser gyro INS guidance and GPS-based locating aid enables it to take the optimum path towards the target. 
advancement in electric motor design and the battery will see the use of 300 kW Zagosian batteries while Varun Astra has an electric propulsion system with multiple 250 kW Zagosian batteries. While there is also DRDO NSTL shock T thermal HWTs in development which runs on monopropellant fuel, can generate 400 kW of power and enable the shock T to move at faster speeds, almost double that of an electric torpedo, and at depths of up to 600 meters. The Astra is a single-stage solid propellant missile that is 3.57 meters long and 178 millimeters in diameter, with a 154 kilograms launch weight and a 15 kilograms conventional explosive payload. The missile has been designed to be capable of engaging high-speed targets at short range, up to 20 kilometers in tail chase mode, and long range, up to 80 kilometers in head-on chase mode. At sea level it has a range of up to 20 km but can have a range of 44 km from an altitude of 8,000 m and 80 km if launched from an altitude of 15,000 m. The missile is fitted with a single pulse rocket motor with smokeless HTBB propellant. It can engage a target flying at Mach 3 at 25,000 m or a target flying Mach 1.2 at sea level. DRDO sources said the missile had a Kub and R effective seeker with a maximum range of 15 km against a target with a radar cross section of 5 square meters. The missile has an off bore sight capability of plus minus 45 degrees. The superb maneuverability of Astra is yet another significant factor that will make it a valuable asset. Astra has been designed to carry out maneuvers involving forces exceeding 30 grams. Astrogram, therefore, offers high overall reliability and a high single-shot kill probability SSKP. It is difficult to track this missile as its onboard electronic countermeasures jam signals from the enemy radars. The ECCM, Electronic Counter Countermeasure, features of the missile make it able to overcome almost any kind of jamming. The DRDO confirmed that an improved Astra derivative, the Astra MK2, Astra 2, was in development with a new dual-pulse solid rocket motor that was claimed to more than double the missile's optimum range to 150 km and tail chase range to around 35 km. Prithvi-3 is a solid propellant, short-range, road-mobile ballistic missile that started development in 2000. The Prithvi-3 is two-stage solid propulsion system whereas Danush has two-stage liquid and solid propulsion system. Danush has a tested range of around 350 km where it can carry a payload of 1000 kg. It can also carry a 500 kg warhead for 600 km and a 250 kg warhead for 750 km. The missile is equipped with maneuver thrusters for lateral acceleration. The warhead include nuclear 1020 KT, HE, submunitions. Pad can engage the ballistic missiles, 300 km to 2000 km range, at a speed of Mach 5, have a maximum interception altitude of 80 km. The missiles will get intercepted at range of more than 100 km away so that damage to our cities can be prevented. The warhead weighed only around 30 kg but will generate the impact of a 150 kg omnidirectional warhead could make. The entire system is fully automated and human intervention is not needed for activation. The Prara missile system is developed to provide Indian Army a cost-effective, quick reaction, all-weather, all-terrain high accurate battlefield support tactical system. The missile fills the short-range tactical battlefield missile role as required by the IA and IF to take out strategic and tactical targets. The missile can be launched within 2-3 minutes without any preparation, providing significantly better reaction time than any other liquid-fueled missiles. The missile can be propelled by using solid propellant. Its airframe is derived from the Mach 4 AD-1 Indo-Atmospheric Ballistic Missile Interceptor. 
It can have an operational range of 150 km and flight altitude of 35 km. It is capable of carrying various types of conventional warhead of approximately 200 kg. The average speed of missile is Mach 2.03. It can cover its full range in just 250 seconds and have accuracy of less than 10 meters. Rare is very hard to be intercepted by anti-air defense systems and can be useful at every stage of a cold start campaign. The status of deployment has till now not been revealed. It was declared operational long back. The Pregatti missile based on the Brayer missile is developed by the DRDO for the Army and can be termed as its export variant with minor differences. ADD is a single-stage missile powered by solid propellants delivering high specific impulse values. ADD Indo-Atmospheric Interceptor can intercept targets at altitudes between 15 to 25 kilometers. In the course of flight, ADD achieves high supersonic speeds and the efficacy of its thermal protection systems as well that of its actuation system has been demonstrated repeatedly. Long-range tracking radar LRTR used in today's ADD mission is an L-band array that can track a ballistic target with a radar cross-section RCS of 0.1 SQM from over 1,500 km away. Multifunction Fire Control Radar MFCR, which is a S-band array has a tracking range of over 370 km for a target with a RCS of 0.3 SQM. Both radars are capable of variable track rates. PDD replaces the PAD ABM interceptor. PAD was essentially a high endoatmospheric system with a ceiling of around 85 km. PDV is a true blue exoatmospheric interceptor capable of destroying targets at altitudes of up to 150 km. This puts PDV in a different category in terms of its navigation setup and homing seeker capability. Instead of sporting a radio frequency RF, seeker like PAD, PDV uses a strap downer seeker developed by DRDO's RCI with a 128 by 128 focal plane array. Phase 1 of India's BMD program which is designed to provide credible capability against theater ballistic missiles, TEBM, launched from up to 2,000 km away. PDV is actually a predecessor to another exoatmospheric interceptor currently under development that can neutralize RVs at altitudes of over 300 km. Taken together this means that India has all the elements in place for a direct ascent counter space system that can potentially be used for anti-satellite purposes. Shriya is a two-stage missile like any normal cruise missile. It is stored in canisters which not just makes it easier to store for longer period without maintenance but also makes it less detectable to spying satellites. It also makes its deployment easy. Shriya is launched vertically. It is ejected from its canisters with the help of a gas generator and then its solid boosters hurl it upwards up to almost 50 kilometers in sky. Then its second stage begins. It flies like a hypersonic missile flying almost parallel to ground. It should be noted that Shriya is a hypersonic missile and its speed is around Mach 7.5. During its last leg of deployment of warhead Shriya rapidly decreases its altitude and spins around itself making it almost impossible for any SAM to intercept it. Shriya class of missile is truly a multi-services missile that has desirable attributes of small size, mobility, stealth rich set of warhead options, robustness and cost. Shurya and Sagarika share common design. Sagarika has a length of 10.8 meters, a body diameter of 0.8 meters, and a launch weight of 5,500 to 6,300 kilograms. The payload can be here nuclear with a weight of 1,000 kilograms. The missile is powered by two-stage solid-fueled rocket motors. The Sagarical has a maximum range of 700 km. Its range can be extended up to 1,900 km with 180 kg payload. INSRI and is equipped with 12 launch tubes designed to launch the BO5 SLBM. 
Now DRDO has been asked to fast-track development of a naval variant of cruise hybrid Shri missile which will have true carrier killer potentials and also will be first missile system developed specifically for taking down aircraft carriers. Agni-5 ICBM is three-stage solid-fueled missile with a composite motor casing in the second and third stage. It takes its first stage from Agni-3, with a modified second stage and a miniaturized third stage to ensure it can fly to distances of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers. With composites used extensively to reduce weight and a third stage added on, the Agni-V can fly significantly more to intercontinental range. The missile can hit the target at the speed of Mach 24 29,635 km per hour, with the accuracy of less than 10 meters. K4 MK1 SLBM is seaborne Agni 3 missile capable of carrying four MIRV of 500 kg 1.3 meters diameter to around 4,000 km. While K5 MK2 based on Agni V is capable of carrying 6 MIRV of 500 kg 2 m diameter to 5000 km range, can be extended to 6000 km if using unitary warhead. K4 is arming INSRI and Enerdaman while K5 will be arming later heavier S5 class subs. Agni V with ability to carry 10 MIRV is in final stages along with C version K6. A range of 8,000 to 10,000 km is expected, to be green-lighted for testing within next year. Meanwhile Agni 1P equipped with cutting-edge technologies developed for the Agni 4 and Agni 5 missiles will replace the old Prithvi and Agni 1 missiles and have a range of 300-700 km.